Hey everybody, 7 up 7 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. We're still on our way to pick them here, and we're about to make our little pit stop that I was talking about in the last part. Uh, this is Mori's Place, which will soon be known as a different name. And this is the side quest that I've been telling you about. Now he'll just sort of not do anything, but if you walk away, a cutscene will start. He's definitely a very... Ah! Unique you figure. To see me, and I ignore you. What was I thinking? Come, speak. Yeah, you better easy. listen. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Mori. Here. Yeah, I accidentally cut it off. Whatever. Did that tree just like have a seizure? Like that wasn't the wind. I hear it on the wind. I am Magnifico, yes. Oh my god! No. He's a very excited person. Okay, so he gives you these three pieces of paper, and they have these monsters on them. They're kind of like wanted posters. And... Uh, we've already seen a couple of the monsters. It is not to worry, ragazzo. A slice of cake. Be okay. A slice of cake. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. This guy scares me. Yes, yeah, so one of them I can think of that we have already passed, if you remember that far back. Uh, when we were going to the, uh... What the hell's it called? That dungeon over by the abbey. Uh, the ruined abbey. There was a little, uh, visible knight of some kind. Uh, named Lonely Joe, I can remember that. And uh, that was one of them that is on the memo. And then there's another one that's really close to here, and I honestly don't remember at this moment where the third one is. I'm not really concerned about it at the, at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, yeah, uh, pick em is just a uh, hop, skip, and a jump from here, pretty much. We just have to battle all these freaking monsters in our way. These guys really don't like us getting anywhere productive, do they? Yeah, basically, like I had uh, said that I was going to be putting out videos a lot faster. And then uh, I haven't put out a Dragon Quest one in a couple days. Uh, I haven't put out many videos at all, in fact. And uh, that's due to some things that we'll talk about in uh, pa part of the next video, and then like two videos after that. Uh, because it's just so time-absorbing. It literally took me three days, with at least a couple hours every day trying to do it, to get past it. And I've never had that much trouble with it before. Uh, but I won't go into too much more detail about it right now. But I was getting really pissed off, at the very least. Meh. So we won't get a whole large amount of things done in Pick'em right now. Or we will have a few cutscenes, whatever, get some items, you know, basic things. There's a lot of items to get and pick them, it does take quite a while to do it. Plus, you know, cutscenes and everything, because like I said, a good bit of story takes place. It's not necessarily vital to the main story, this stuff that takes place. But it does, it, it is a pretty big side story that we will involve a dungeon and everything. Uh, coming up here pretty soon, so... But yeah, over the past few days I have spent many, many, many hours in this godforsaken town. I almost committed suicide, even. 
Okay, so we're finally here in this awful, dirty town, Pick'em. It is a place where you would expect Yingus to be from, though, I must say. There's a nice market, covered in dirt. A lot of shady-looking individuals. A fat oh, woman. Yangus. At least you were right about something! No one here so much as that is true. True, it fits in much more appropriately here. So, the pub awaits. I'll go on ahead and yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Go away. get drunk, you bastard. You'll go and find this brains fellow. I'll be waiting for your report. Shut up, you stupid king. I guess I understand. We've been on the road for quite a long time now. Booze him more like. Come on, Cub. Let's forget about him. And no, first we have to get a crap load of items. Some of us have got to keep our minds on the job, eh? We've got to find that Dolmagus. That darn Dolmagus. His treachery knows no ends. Freaking phone going off. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Yeah, you're gonna want to save that, by the way. I don't know I've said it a few times. Although I do uh, sell a couple things just to get some money in here. I don't recommend you sell anything. Uh... Like I said, unless it's something that you know 100% sure that you can buy back at a shop. Uh, you know, like if you need a few extra coins or whatever, and you have like some clothes or whatever, you know, not armor per se, but just clothes or like a boomerang, there should be like a spare boomerang, you can sell that now if you can get more money later, which you will obviously. So yeah, we're going to want to buy a couple things here. I can't afford everything right now. Uh, you're going to want to buy here, you're going to want to buy two iron shields. And you're also going to want to buy a dancer's costume for Jessica. There are other options you can get, but I don't recommend you get them, because we can either make them in the near future or find a free one. Uh, I mean, unless you're just rolling in money, but even then I still don't suggest that you purchase it. Uh, let's see. Go down the well here. And this isn't a typical well. There's actually something going on down here. Looks like a dead guy back there. It's not, though. He, like, talks to you if you speak to him. Whatever. There's some sort of club down here of very large men. I don't really want to know what's going on down here, but you do get uh, a mini medal for one thing, so I don't really care. Let's just uh, get the hell out of here before you get raped. Now, let's see. We can go in this building. Find a couple things. No, wrong building. Let's see, we need to go to... Okay, this one right here. This is what I was trying to say. Okay. It's like a little hallway or some of some sort. Yeah, you're going to want to turn... I think you hit, what, L2 for that? Or maybe R2? I don't remember what the control is. And it'll uh, scan straight ahead and open that door. And get a seed of life. And remember, you can use those seeds anytime you want. I already have explained earlier in my walkthrough... Uh, what, who to use them on, or who I personally use them on. Uh, if you want to look back, it was sometime way back in Fairbury or something, I went over that. <sighs> Holy water, that's always useful for me. To try to avoid as many battles as possible, which I actually have not been using it recently, and I really need to. So I can make a little bit faster progress. Um, go to the item shop, of course, if you need to stock up on some things. I don't personally need to. Uh, but there's some a thing in a bag over here to get. 
another mini metal. And those mini metals are gonna be like your best friend later. Basically. I believe I already talked about that though. Let's see here. There's another little small hallway you can go in. And there's just a couple items to get here and a bag. Seed of strength, always useful. And another mini metal. There's quite a few mini metals in this place, isn't there? Okay. So, basically, I'm like running out of time here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, cow pat, absolutely unuseful, but oh well. And then, really quickly... Alright, that's it for this part, so I'll see you guys later.